My next guest, the author of the book, I'm Fine and Other Lies, which is available in a bookstore near you or online, Whitney Cummings. Good to see you You again. as well. How have you been? I've been okay. Is that uh, a lie? Or yeah, I can't everything tell I say is a lie. Is Literally right? everything out of my mouth. No, I mean, we're so conditioned to just say we're fine when we're not, aren't we? You don't want to hear about how my meds aren't mixing well. Actually, I wouldn't mind hearing Do you? about that. Don't take Lunesta and thyroid medication and freeze your eggs at the same time. <laughs> I Just didn't have a pen ready. I couldn't. I, didn't, I need to take that down. I'll, I'll, I think we I'll, found I'll, the new name of our fantasy team. <laughs> <laughs> What's your fantasy team's name, Chris? Uh, oh, so we have one. Rich and I share a team. Vultures of the ether. Which is what Bob Costas referred to uh, social media as the oh. vultures of the ether. Oh, so, I like that. So we like that. Okay. Um, so we kept that. And, and Bob Costas is the avatar, the photograph of our team. Okay. But we're open to switching. So what happens when you? Play on a fantasy team? <laughs> exactly. Well, you, you watch the actual real football. Okay. Uh, and the yards that the players accrue. Uh, okay. Tr translate into fractions of points. Do you get checks in the mail from doing this? Uh, I mean, I won, I won my league last year. Those oh, so you get money. Yeah, you get money if oh, you win. Oh, that's good. How yeah. much did you win yeah. for your league last year? I don't think I can say that because of the... It's more, than ten, it's more than the IRS will allow? Is that how much money it is? You never told me that. Well, Are mean, you serious? I get a fancy trophy and yeah, man. Huh? Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> so you study these men. Yeah. Yes. You you look at the men. You watch them work out. I watch out. them do stuff. You study their bodies yes. and decide based on their talents which ones you want to bring into your fantasy. Fantasy. <laughs> which ones you want to fantasize about? Well, so you fantasize correct, about these correct. men. I do. For money. <laughs> yes. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. When you got it. When you, you describe it. Red flags. Sports. Well, when you describe Sports, red flags, sports. Same. Look at that. When you describe it like that, Whitney. <laughs> no, I fantasize about men too. Just, I mean, not not the ones in spandex. Oh, is that right? Yeah. Is there a, is there a fantasy league that uh, I'm unfamiliar with? Uh, that, it's. Could there be a sports cast or fantasy league that I'm. That, <laughs> That That's I don't true. Know about. I'm going to start a fantasy league for sportscasters. You would be my top pick, Rich. <laughs> and Is other, that what you call it, a pick? Yes. And, and other lies. <laughs> no, that's actually Cummings. the truth. The book is about a lot of the lies that I've told and a lot of the lies I've lived, but it sh I've come through the other side and I now know how to tell the truth. So it's, that's actually truthful. So this is a cathartic book for you. It is cathartic. Because I, I have some stories uh, here written on a card. Oh, that I, I, well, I'd like to run down them oh, if no, you don't mind. Oh, no, this is a nightmare. Well, why is that? It's in, the, it's in the book. I know, but the whole reason I put it in a book is because I didn't want to have to talk about it publicly oh. or like make eye contact with people because these are all the stories I tried to tell on stage but I was too embarrassed so I just put them in a book so you could read them in your own so are you are you the the type that doesn't watch back what you do like when you put Never. a special out there no. you don't watch if it if you talked like Fran Drescher you wouldn't either yeah. I can't stand but don't laugh at that all how right. dare you <laughs> Um, don't agree actually, with me. Actually, any time the nanny is mentioned in any way, shape, or form, <laughs> see, yeah, it's funny. Yeah, I know it is. It's like it tickles. It's you don't tickles sound you. like Fran Drescher. Real, I mean, kind of sometimes. No, After no. like two shots of whiskey, I sound exactly like Fran Drescher <laughs> and look like her. Interestingly enough, so do I. Really? Yeah. <laughs> I bet. It's very strange. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I basically just, you know, I got sick of being crazy. You knew me back when I was crazy. Well, yes. Yeah. I was there at a, a roast A roast. One we night did a roast for together. Steve Tish, That's the owner of right. the New York football giants that's what it was i got in, in trouble for that uh and i was just i was kind of nuts everyone's you know people who are nuts you're nuts you guys know you're well, crazy we can get into why chris brockman's nuts shortly here <laughs> yeah i have some questions for you chris whitney cummings Lots author of of i'm fine and other lies so um story you tell having my lacerated ears sewn back on yeah. by a deaf guy what? after losing it in a torrid yeah. love affair can yeah. we fill in the blanks here uh, uh, i feel like that's pretty self-explanatory <laughs> do you actually need more i really hope mike story? tyson was involved Is there anything else? i guess the why i had my ear bitten off by a dog can you tell? I can't can you actually. See? That's some high quality yeah? surgery right Does there. That, yeah, it's pretty good actually. Oh no, okay. You now the top of it, tell. now that I'm staring. I've got a little nub. There's a little cartilage missing. There's a little missing. like a weird <laughs> hemorrhoid or something. <laughs> it's like a little <laughs> tiny nubble. Right. Nubble right there. Uh -huh. um, yeah, I had a, oh, that is a close up shot. <laughs> no, <laughs> we're no. Not, we're not in 4K by the no. way. No, I might a... be fine. This is not fine in 4K. 
Um, I did. I got my I rescue dogs, and one of them I you. basically just I pulled from a shelter, the Carson shelter. They euthanized them really quickly. I saw it on Instagram. I know Instagram for a lot of you guys is for athletes and porn stars, not for me. It's all dogs, and it gives me anxiety. It's not fun. Uh, I went down to the shelter, got him, and he didn't have spatial intelligence. He wasn't trained yet, so yeah. he bit my ear clear off my head. So then a deaf guy sewed it back on? Well, <laughs> just any deaf guy. He was a doctor. Okay. But I was okay. thinking, I, <laughs> No, by the way, I wouldn't put it past me to just ask a random <laughs> deaf guy to sew my ear up. That is the kind of thing I would do. Right. Go on to Craigslist, <laughs> missed connections, deaf guy. Uh, Sutures. Yeah, come on over. I have some barbed wire. Let's knock this out. I don't have great health insurance, so I have done insane things like that. Um, but uh, I am a comedian after all. I have bad ideas. But um, but yeah, so I went to the hospital and the the basically you you know about sports yes. ears <laughs> ears okay I'm looking for the connection ears yes. inju like injuries because yes. yeah, athletes get injuries Mike Tyson bit Vander Holyfield to end a fight once yes. upon a time and you get so much adrenaline that it, you don't really feel pain okay I didn't is that a sports thing I've never had a ear bitten <laughs> off so I don't know we should work on that okay let's work on your brand <laughs> so I have an ear bitten off I'm basically a Vander Holyfield. Uh, and I go, and he's sewing up my ear. It hurts more, apparently, to anesthetize the ear than just to do the surgery without okay. anesthesia. Uh -huh. So he does it without anesthesia. Right. I have a very high tolerance for emotional pain, not physical pain. Oh my gosh. He starts sewing it up, and I'm like, sir, can you please tell me when you're going to stick the needle into my ear? And he's completely ignoring me. Won't talk, like, which to me, I mean, you guys have dated women. We like being heard. <laughs> we, I need to be acknowledged. You probably heard that in a fight. I don't want you to solve the problem. I just want you to hear me. <laughs> He's agreeing. True. What? In a very bummed. Oh yeah, you're like what? I know. Yeah. <laughs> and Hear me. Don't agree with me. I, I, yeah. By the way, you know that what? confuses the hell out of guys. You understand? Well, that, I don't right? want you to solve the problem. I just want you to hear me. But that confuses me. Why? Because I'm here to help. We're, yeah, we're problem solvers. No, but sometimes I just need to feel validated in my anger or rage or frustration. Like I don't want to fix it at the moment. I just want to be seen and heard. Okay. Nothing that 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 means nothing to you. No, 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 no. I no. It means something. But I guess while we're on the subject here, because there's probably lots of guys yeah. and women out there Who listening and look right now. Uh, to me, uh, I'm like, what, what, what does that solve? What you know does what I mean? that solve? It's always about solving. And my wife will always say, I don't want to solve anything. Right, 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 now. right, right. Because I think that, I mean, for me, I've worked right. so hard to not be reactive and react when I'm emotional to something. Because then yes. you're sending an email where you're saying something you shouldn't say. Yes. You're calling someone. Like, for me, I'm like, I don't want to take an action right now. I don't want to act insane in my emotion. I just want to talk it through, and I'll take an action in a couple days when I've cooled off. You guys need to understand that. Sports. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm gonna relate this back to sports. But so to me, it's like, I mean, from when I was in my 20s and I was crazy, I just would like mm -hmm. go off on people. I had like a, t I was just like a nut. I'm driving around ex-boyfriend's houses. Um, <laughs> it's not a good look for me. So sometimes I just wanna talk through something and just make sure I'm not crazy. Uh, I usually am. And, but and sort of bring it all full circle and put a button on it. Yeah. You thought the doctor was ignoring you. And Why he are you was trying just... to put buttons on things? Why are you trying to come full circle? <laughs> Why are you acting? like that this show needs to have some kind no, of narrative structure. I'm just, I guess, to, if you <laughs> if you will, bring it home. Why are you being so talented? <laughs> Is that necessary right now? Why Stop are you it. Have I given you any indication that I'm interested in this being a professional interview? I feel like I'm trying to solve the story instead of just, just hearing it out. I just want to be heard. I just want to be heard. And sit you're and trying listen. to solve it. Yeah. You, can I tell you something? You've changed a little bit. This man started dating started dating my friend. He's been very quiet okay. over there. Last time I was on the show, a lot chattier. I don't want to take a 60 second break. <laughs> yeah. Come back and <laughs> I know when to be quiet. And <laughs> unpack the And we're gonna hell talk about Chris's bracelets. Yes, he, I noticed he started wearing them. This you have is, the answer? This is, did you go to Bali? Why are you wearing bracelets all of a sudden? Marshall Falk wears them. Oh. We're back what in does that even mean? We're back. <laughs> Huh? We're back in 60 seconds with Whitney Cummings here on the show. Welcome back to the Rich Eisen Show. Um, I didn't wear a bra, and I'm getting very nervous. Okay, with this Whitney Cummings. Weird. Yeah. Uh, by the way, uh, it, it, it's really strange. We had Peter Farrelly on the show uh, yesterday. He didn't say that at all. He did. He wear a bra. <laughs> he was I didn't. not. He was not concerned he about not the concerned side about angle situation. It, yeah. it is. This is not a great angle. This isn't a good look. I need to do more sports. <laughs> <laughs> you look great, and that's not an, uh, one of those lies that you're talking about. Oh, I'm fine in other sweet. lies in a, a bookstore uh, and online uh, near you. 
Now, you, Whitney Cummings, yes, at Whitney Cummings on Twitter, by the way. Thank you. Just to actually do bring it full circle. Yes. The guy who was sewing your ear back on was, in fact, deaf. Was, in fact, deaf. My friend called the next day. This, the surgeon was sewing up my ear. Yes. I was asking him for a three count, mm -hmm. right? Three, two, one, on yes. three, after three. Would, was completely ignoring me. I'm like, this doctor is so dismissive. He's such an egomaniac. He's such a jerk. The next day, my friend called the mm -hmm. doctor to say, like, hey, when should she get her stitches taken out? And they were like, oh, the doctor can't speak. He's deaf. Like, if your doctor's deaf, shouldn't they give you a heads up, <laughs> surgeon? But heads why, would you, why do you want to know that? Wouldn't because that make you more anxious and no more why? freaked out about why? what's about to happen? If I, I knew the doctor was deaf, yeah. I would at least know why he's completely ignoring me. I've had a lot of men completely ignore me in my day while I'm yelling, so I just assumed it was yet another man that was pretending to be deaf. Don't you want the doctor to just solve the problem? If any man that you're talking to, you want to just solve why the problem, Why are you guys it's so obsessed doctor. with solutions? He's Solutions a doctor. are so 90s. Here's the whole thing. You have a girlfriend. Stop trying to solve problems. Just live in the problem. And let's get to that right no, now. I don't yeah. know. Yes. That's the problem. Yes, no, but no, what's no. happening? So just, does Sarah make you wear those bracelets so that other girls don't want to date you? So let's just... <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. That's a great way to Why bring up the fact. I love Whitney. Sarah Tiana, who <laughs> she is gives you the bracelets. a highly talented uh, comedian. The greatest. She's a dear friend of mine. She, so you guys are tight. Tight, very. Okay. Yeah. Now, before we get into the bracelets, before I'm going to let him off the hook a little bit right there. Hmm. Uh, when did... When did uh, uh, Chris Brockman first come into your life. Uh, um, wait, do you remember when Sarah first brought him around? She keeps pretty secret, actually. Does she really? <laughs> I mean, I, I kind of knew about you, but I didn't know it was you because you and I had met before. She tried to like keep it under wraps to make sure that you weren't a sociopath for a while. So it's kind right. of only in the last couple months that I've really been here, knowing it was you. So no wonder you. She kept you a secret. No she wonder, was very ashamed of you for a long time. No wonder the two of you I, get I, along I, so I well totally because it's that. like pulling teeth out of you. Yeah, yeah. you're both shady. Not everything yeah. is for public consumption, Rich. Well, his his Instagram. Instagram is at Brock Shady. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Red flag. Totally <laughs> missed that. Yeah. Sports. <laughs> <laughs> nice. You guys, but it's interesting because she, Sarah, I never thought that Sarah would find a guy who was smart. I will give you this compliment. Who is smart enough, interesting enough. She's wicked smart. She's she wicked funny. She's beautiful. Where are you looking? Why are you looking up? What's no, going on? I'm Are you nervous? He's I'm listening. He is. Are you he's panicked? So I, no, I'm great. Yeah? Very this calm. Is he is not. That is, he's deep down inside begging us for it to get to another topic. <laughs> I know this guy. And she is, she is a delight. She's a delight. She's one of my Sarah. dearest friends. Yes. Uh, one of the only people I trust in this world. Um, although I'm starting to lose uh, a little bit of respect <laughs> that she's letting you wear so much jewelry. So what is with the the uh, beads? Is this like oh, a, you know a relationship? Are you from bead? Albuquerque? <laughs> <laughs> did you do a, you, Did you do it? Are means. you breaking bad? Were you, <laughs> were you, uh, you Did you go on a retreat in Santa I Fe? I think they're cool. No, Marshall wears them. I Who's didn't Marshall? See. Fuck. Stop taking fashion advice from athletes. <laughs> well, is that an athlete? I don't know. I'm assuming he's he a yes. pro football yes, Hall of Famer. Yes, and oh, he's yeah, actually got. He actually is a terrific fashion sense. I must say. Let, I let's see a photo. Can we pull up a photo of this man? We can. I, I don't cool. believe it. it's like water. Stop taking it's fashion. It's like water and ice from Mount Everest and mud from the Dead Sea, and they put them in these bracelets, and it's supposed to talk about hopefulness and humbleness. It, it's it now that's very oh, zen of you, remarkably zen for a guy who's a total mass hole exactly. otherwise. So, <laughs> so but but it is just to get let, let you in on a window in a way Please. of a guy guy situation yeah. here. I noticed the. Uh, beads or whatever you've got around <laughs> your, your wrist. The magical okay. beads. I noticed them, uh, what, about two weeks ago you started wearing it? Yeah. Would you say that? A little bit ago. Okay. Yeah, like I noticed ago, maybe. It, and I, I let it go. I didn't ask. I just didn't, it's just like another guy doesn't say to another guy, like, why, well, you know, what's with the beads on your wrist? Um, so You've I been hanging out with Russell Brand? <laughs> We're very tight. <laughs> Russell, very I tight. mean, I'm just saying in general, don't take fashion advice from men that shop at Big and Tall. We're the same size. <laughs> so, in all, when it all comes down to it, she is a lovely girl. She's the greatest. And so, in in the in the in the comedian circuit, yeah, is he known as her boyfriend? Um, I do me no. <laughs> people respect you a lot. Hmm. I don't, I, can't, I don't know why, but they do. Okay. <laughs> yeah, no. I, I think don't. I think that we always were like nervous. Like Sarah's never gonna be able to find a guy who can like match her. Like she needs like a match. So mm -hmm. I think people have a lot of respect for you that you can handle. Well, thank you. Is she is she a commitment phobe as well? Um, kind of. Okay. Yeah, you do a perfect she is. Match. You two are perfect for each other. Yeah. 
It's great. Two jerks in the wind. <laughs> <laughs> great fantasy football name. Yeah, it's oh, jerks in the wind. Sports. All, all jerks are, and jerks in the sports. ether. Sports. All we are is jerks in the wind. Do you guys, great song. Do you, is it, because I'm now that I've got my life together, yes. I feel like I'm ready for a healthy relationship. Is it important for a healthy relationship for two people to support the same sports teams? Do no, you, no. Because you guys aren't fans of the same team. No. Uh, actually, uh, she's a Falcons fan. I'm a Patriots fan. It was an awful so, day for um, the Falcons at the Patriots. This, this uh, Super Bowl. Hands at the Super Bowl last year. And if you didn't break up then, I don't think you'll break up. Um, uh, my wife is a Red Sox fan. I'm a Yankee fan. She's a Patriot fan. I grew Does up a Jet fan. Does that cause tension? This is, well, it causes tension when you have children. Uh, okay. okay. Because when you have children. You have to, they have to pick a side. Well, not really pick a side. It's when the other side of the family starts sending Red Sox bibs to the house. <laughs> and Patriots you have to put them onesies, in the trash. Yeah. And it's like seeing your child walk around in those. It's it's it's, it's a, a betrayal. Well, what ends up have to do is there has to be a compromise. Yeah. There has to be something when you come together as a, as a family. And what is the compromise? Well, that as a Jet fan growing up mm -hmm. and the Patriots are winning over yeah. and over and over again. Yeah. I have to uh, it would be like child services would take my children away <laughs> if I forced them to do the other thing. So, okay. Yeah. But the and then I drew a line at the Yankees. That, right. that, that has to be a line. I mean, I did talk about this in my book. I used to think that in order to be in a healthy relationship, you had to basically take on the characteristics of the other person. Like okay. I used to have like every jersey in my closet from all the guys I dated. <laughs> I had like Redskins, Dolphins, Dallas, Cowboy, whatever. Yeah. My house was like a Foot Locker. I just had like every jersey. <laughs> and then now that I've sort of got it together and I have self esteem and I have confidence, um, I can uh, proudly say I am. Uh, I'm from DC, so I'm a Redskins fan. There you go. I have to be. Art Monk. <laughs> Sports. 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 Do you guys know Art Monk? He went to Syracuse. <laughs> we, we know Art Monk. Art Monk. Yeah. <laughs> You're so happy that we've heard Art of Monk. Art Monk. Yeah, that's that's, that's a current reference. Is he on your fantasy team? Is he in Vultures of the Universe? No, he's very much not current. Much. He's oh. in the Pro Football Hall of Fame. Is he dead? But that's okay. He's not. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't kill Art Monk. Oh, he's, God. he's such a if sweet man. If he dies, man. I can't get through. I can't go on. I'm going to have to become a Patriots fan with and you. Other lies. Yeah. Uh, I'm fine in other lies. Check it out uh, in a bookstore. Soon to be followed by uh, Art Monk is dead in other lies. <laughs> oh, yes, exactly. Uh, great to see you, Whitney. Love you having you here. Thank you for having me. At guys. Whitney Cummings on Twitter. Sports. Check out. Uh, yes, I'm fine in other lies. Go get the book. Lots of fun. The Rich Eisen Show. Weekdays at noon Eastern on radio stations across the country and audience. If you like that, please download our app. There's lots of fun things there other than just more of the videos you just saw. You can call us from the app. You can email us from the app. Just download it. Trust me, you'll enjoy it.